Hey guys, Bellatrix Pretzel here. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for joining me for my second video. Um, so this house I built on a 30 by 20 lot, and the total price of it came out to just over 142 simoleons. Um, and it there will be a link in the description to where you can download it if you'd like. Um, so um, I had a hard time with a lot of aspects of this house. Um, lately I've been building a lot of smaller houses, so I had a hard time furnishing and decorating it, um, but I also had a hard time with the colors, and as you'll soon see, the roof. I I wasn't, we go back to how it was more or less, like the original roofing that I just changed now, um, but for a while I was not happy with it, and as, so I tried to add like a little extra detail at the top, um, <clears throat> to try and make it a little bit more interesting, and it didn't end up working, and I just, I wasn't happy. <laughs> um, so I fidgeted with that for a little while, um, it took me longer than I care to admit. This is, this is sped up like 12 times, so, <laughs> yeah, you can tell that this took me a while, actually, the whole build took me just under 5 hours was going a little crazy by the end. <laughs> so this ends up being the general shape of the house. I don't think I actually change the shape of the exterior anymore. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so like I was saying, I was having a lot of trouble with the colors. Actually, at some point when I'm coloring the exterior, I actually just stop the video until I find a color because it's just taking too damn long to to do. <clears throat> Alright, so now I'm just working on a back deck. It ended up being very small, and now a front. Um, okay, I'm going to be honest with you, I had a hard enough time with the first speed bill I did, which came out to like 9 minutes long, and this time I'm talking for 25-26 minutes, and I have no idea what I'm going to say. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, so soon enough you'll see that I had a hard time with the colors. I had a hard time with my mouth. With my mouth? Okay, I'm having a hard time with my mouth now. I'm at a hard time with my mouth. <laughs> um, same problem as last time. It's just not always clicking where I want to, and sometimes the mouse just doesn't move where I want it to. Turns out that apparently half my mouse pad, because I'm currently using a laptop, doesn't work. So, I mean, that sucks, but anyways, I'm going to have to get out of the house at some point and actually buy a mouse that I can just connect with a USB or whatever. Okay, so that's basically the floor plan I go to uh, I go to for the rest of the video. It does change a little bit, mainly with those two rooms on the bottom floor towards the left. Um, they don't change very much, I just size one up and size the other one down. Um, I didn't have a huge uh, problem with the flooring. I just I usually go for a darker wood, like in the house next door. But I I really didn't want them to be identical since I mean they're right next door, and plus it's always good to try new things. Okay, so as you can see here, I had a hard time coming up with that first um, brick or stone color, and um, that does change a little bit. Originally, I was going to use it for um, feature wall colors, and I was going to use a sliding. Uh, like gray originally to cover the rest. I, I really hated it. So I decided to do the inverse, which I also did not like. And you'll see me now struggling with a whole bunch of colors. And then I ended up cutting until I choose the color I want, <laughs> which is not that. <laughs> um, I actually really liked this one, but I could not find um, a color that matched it exactly. And so yeah, I just skipped it, and as you can see, that's the color I ended up settling on. Um, okay, this really pissed me off because there was a room on the inside that kept being like a separator in there, and I had to go to a different wallpaper. It was the same one, just without the um, room bar corner lining thing, whatever. Um, and so for the roof, I ended up settling on the same roof color that's on the house next door. I didn't want to go to that, it's my default one, but I, I, I just can't seem to be 
interested or hooked on by the other colors, so I just ended up going with it. Um, I fidget with the windows a lot, actually. Not all of them, but um, the ones at the front of the house and a little bit at the back of the house. I just, I don't know, I can't, I can't settle on them. It's another thing that I couldn't settle on. I'd, for some reason, I was just very indecisive with this house. Um, you guys, I'm out of practice with the large houses. The house next door I built a while ago, and it's not complete. I gave up because I was having such a hard time with it. Oh, and the roof's not lined up for that one. I'm gonna have to go back and fix that. Anyways, um, so for any of you wondering about that house next door, like I just said, I built it, I started building it a while ago before, um, I even had the thought of starting speed, speed builds. Um, I will probably before finishing it, um, sort of delete everything one by one and then record, um, record myself undoing the deletes, you guys can have some idea of how I built it and possibly turn into a speed build. Um, but once it's finished, I will definitely be posting it on the gallery. So that will be available for download at some point in the near future, hopefully within the next two weeks. Um, I was saying I, I like starting new houses. If I've given up on a house for a while, I don't always get back to it. Anyway, so I started the furnishing. Um, I wanted to get a sense of the style of the house before I worked on the outside. I find sometimes it's a lot easier to work um, inside out. <clears throat> anyway, so I start with that front room, and it's just a small study, you know, a couple of bookshelves, a desk, just a quiet place for my sims to work. I do end up making that room just a tiny bit bigger, and I end up making the living room, which is the room connected to it, just a little bit smaller. Um, but that happens while I'm decorating the living room, so it'll be a little while. <clears throat> um, yeah, I was just trying to find lighting that worked, and I didn't want to have the same lights throughout the house, which is something I do a lot. There's this overhead light, which is the plain, flat, circular disc one that I tend to use in a lot of my houses, and I'm trying to sort of switch it up a little bit. <clears throat> um, so that's what the wall light was about, and I figured... Why not put an art piece under, makes the light itself look a little less awkward. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how the study stays, except for the size that changes, and I do add a little bit of an extra sort of detail. Um, so right there, I just overlapped the couch just to make sure I had the right color stemming throughout. Um, I really wanted a circular table, so I attempted to make one myself with four tables, and I cannot settle on a placement. You'll see that I keep moving it around a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm, throat's a little itchy. have a bit of a cold. Um, yeah, so now I was just trying to fill up the space. Uh, I wasn't too sure what to use. Um, right there, I just decided to put three cameras, the three different cameras that we have. Um, honestly, I just didn't know what else to put. Um, in retrospect, I probably would have added a couple shelves on top uh, over the, uh, where the speaker is and just put a couple of, um, decorating details around there, um, instead of leaving the wall bare like I did. Kind of regret that. <laughs> um, so you'll see there I changed my mind about the colors and I decided to put a little pop of red instead of a little pop of blue. Um, I actually really like how it turned out. Though, in the final product, I would have changed the, um, the wall color to the first one I try out, and I don't end up settling on it, but... Anyway, so there I'm just trying to fill the corner up because I feel it's empty, so that empty space of nothing list was me going through dozens of options. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, see, that's the light that I tend to use a lot. Anyways, that first red that I tried on the wall, I wish I would have stuck with that. Um, kept the couches red, had, sorry, kept the couches white, kept the walls red, and just left it as is. But instead I settled with that beige color right there and one red couch. Uh, I mean, it's still nice, it's a little accent of red, but I think the wall, the walls being red, would have just been a way nicer touch. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I'm just kind of, kind of adding a couple more decorative, decorative details, picking a picture to hang on top and I it's really bothering me now that I'm watching this back that the couch and the wall art are not lined up. Oh, 
that bothers me way more than it should. Um, Alright, so there I decided that maybe the study should have some curtains, you know, just in case the light was too bright, there was a glare on the books or whatever, and I gave up because, to be completely honest, I hate all the curtains and the blinds in The Sims 4. I, didn't, I wasn't particularly fond of the ones in The Sims 3, but at least they had the um, creative option where you could put whatever pattern and colors you wanted. I've got to say, I really miss that, especially when it comes to bed sheets in The Sims 4. I just, I'm not a fan of the majority that we have. <clears throat> anyway, so there you go. We have a full bathroom right by the entrance. Um, for some reason, I accidentally colored the like entrance room, hallway, lobby, whatever you want to call it. The wall is a different color. Um, so the half wall I put in there to separate the kitchen and the dining room. Um, I do keep it there, but I realized, watching this back, that I never actually um, wallpapered it. So, I mean, it's not noticeable because it's completely covered on both sides. But if you guys download the house, um, just something you should know. <laughs> that was just something you should know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I've always loved dark colors in the kitchen. And it's a little much with the floor right now, but I do end up changing the floor in the kitchen. As you can see there, just to put up a tile. Um, when I put tiles on the walls, just in the kitchen area, I do something else for the other walls where there are no counters. <clears throat> so that area, I was trying to find a decorative item. I went with a fruit bowl. Gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of that. And yeah, to be honest, I would have probably preferred to not have the back door by the dining room and switch the location of the dining room and the kitchen. Um, the dining room would have been where the windows are, it would have been a lot brighter, a lot more natural light. I feel that those huge windows are very awkward for a kitchen to be next to, like the counters end up blocking half of the window. But, <clears throat> anyways, it still looks fine if I just don't think about the window aspect too much. <clears throat> So here I just color the walls and I move on because I had no idea what to do with that big empty space. So now I have a little bit of a little bit more of an idea of what I wanted to do. So I started with the outside. <laughs> I had a hard time dragging the stairs out, which is why I put three sets, and then I realized that it actually put railings between all of them, which God, that really annoyed me. Um, anyway, so now I'm just gonna work on the landscaping a little bit and the front deck and forgive the silence, I have a hot chocolate in the fridge, which might sound weird, but I tend to warm up, I tend to warm it up so much that it's scolding, and then I put so many marshmallows on top that they melt, and the top of them cool, so it forms sort of like a seal, so <laughs> the steam can't come out and it never cools down. Um, but it's probably freezing now, because it's been in there way too long. Anyway, so, <clears throat> my hot chocolate is still scolding and I will still burn my mouth on it, but I don't care, it's delicious. <laughs> so I finished with the front, as you saw, I kept it really simple, there wasn't much room to work with. <clears throat> Moving on to the back. Um, so, as you'll see from the, from the name, I, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, I named it Simply Smoky. Um, so, I, I would like to say I know that that's not how you spell the word smoke. Um, but I just wanted to, sort of an original twist, and I've been watching a lot of the show Arrow, and there's, one of my favorite characters, characters is Felic Felicity Smoke, and she spells her last name with an A, so I just sort of went with that. Anyway, so the reason for that name, other than the Arrow aspect of it, is I really like the backyard. I find that it's the main feature of the house. It's, um, <clears throat> you know, I end up putting a barbecue, it has a pool. I would personally hang out there if I lived there. Um, and so the barbecue is an idea where you just go out there, barbecue some food, you eat, if you have friends over, or whatever, backyard party, and if any of you barbecue, you'll notice it creates a lot of smoke. So, plus the walls of the house are gray. So, I mean, you know, color wise it worked, backyard theme wise it worked. <laughs> <clears throat> So I just put a couple of random uh, flower patches, um, those two areas, and I end up having a third area too. I, I don't know. It's I like a messy garden more than a super neat one, so I feel like patches a little 
everywhere, crowded with plants. I just find that beautiful. <clears throat> um, though I do realize, realistically, it would be so dumb to have plants that close to a pool because whether you have chlorine or saline water, it would be horrible <laughs> for the plants if it splashed, which, let's face it, you're in a pool, you're going to splash around there. <clears throat> um, I cannot set my mind up on a table out there. Um, and uh, I do stick with that table, but I changed the color of it because it was driving me crazy and the placement of it was pretty horrid. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me. Ooh, okay, my throat is really bothering me. I apologize. Um, so yeah, I just continued the brick all over the pool, all over the eating area. Um, I realized I could have kept it all grassy, but I actually much prefer this. I found it filled out the space a little bit more. It, it would have looked a lot emptier if it was just all plain grass around there. Um, so that's the third patch of flowers I was talking about. Um, actually, I really end up liking it. It's one of my favorites. I love the color scheme of it and uh, I love the plants involved. I throw in a couple of rocks just to have a little bit more of an interest factor to it. Um, yeah. Looking back now, I sort of regret my choice of backyard fence. I feel like the plants around the columns a little bit much. I probably would have used, um, uh, if you remember when I was testing out fences, the first one I drew out, it was another white one with, with a gap in it. It was a little taller, a smaller gap. I probably would have gone with that one instead, but it still looks good. I just find it's a little much. <clears throat> I would have kept the uh, long table in the front there if I had made um, <clears throat> the uh, tiled area of the pool just one square bigger, but I found that it was all too close to the pool, so I just kept a little bit of seating there. I really wish that there were the like long pool chairs that they had in The Sims 3 there, but... Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> um, that worked too. So, back deck, I felt that more seating was a little redundant, but I honestly did not know how else to fill it. So, little bench, a couple of plants, you know, done. <laughs> done with that. Um, so the potted plants there, they don't, they didn't really fit sort of a theme, but I figured it's always nice for the Sims to garden a little bit, grow a couple fruit, grow some veggies, whatever. So I added there more for practicality than aesthetics. <clears throat> yeah, so you might be wondering why two doors to the front deck. I just, I don't know. I didn't want to put seating in the front of the deck or have everyone, like, I wanted them to have sort of a private area that wasn't necessarily in the back. So this way with the flower um, area just in the corner of the deck, it sort of give, gives your sims a little bit more privacy to have seating as opposed to just sitting in the front, staring at the street, watching everyone pass by. <clears throat> so this area, you'll notice I did struggle with it a little bit. It was not the type of space that I'm used to filling. I mean, it was a huge space, you know, it's the room of a large bedroom, which, I mean, I could have added another room there, made it another bedroom, another study, a games room, you know, guitar room, music room, whatever. Uh, but that would have ended up with a very long, thin, dark hallway, and I'm not really a fan of that. I'm more of a fan of either open, uh, open space concept or a huge sort of entrance type thing with doors everywhere, which is what I would describe this to be. <clears throat> so I'm just filling it out with a couple of plants. Um, you'll see soon I start to add a rug just to fill the area because it is very empty. Um, colors. Oh, the colors. That took me a while to choose. Um, for the art wall, uh, decorations on the wall, I just sort of picked anything that caught my eye. I wasn't, there wasn't a specific theme to that room, so <clears throat> I just went with that. <laughs> As you can see, more trouble with my mouse there. Put the bed halfway through the wall and move the Move the window. I, I need to get a new mouse. It was driving me crazy. It was probably responsible for like 30 minutes 
wasted. Um, anyway, so this first bedroom that I'm working on, I pictured it for a teen, a teenager, boy or girl. I, for the colors, I didn't really go too specific. Um, there's some green, there's some purple. It's mostly green, but, <laughs> you know, there's some purple in there too. There's some blue. Uh, small guitar, I figured that this teen would be a little bit more artistic, or musical, rather. Um, once again, hard time with the walls. I cannot believe, I did not notice that the outside of the house <laughs> got wallpapered while I was testing swatches. I mean, I, I noticed it right at the end when I was just double-checking the entire house, and I do change it. Um, so I look, I'm just staring at it, and I can't look, I can't see anything else other than the blue that's outside. Anyways, <laughs> the second room, um, I thought more for a kid, um, you know, bright colors, I fill it up with a couple of toys on the desk, the dinosaur stuffy, um, my head it is a boy that's using this room, but that's just what's going on in my head, that's just how I was thinking about it, um, I thought that the kid who was in here would be more of like a geek, a nerd, a the smart kid, scientist, video gamer. Okay, so um, right then I decided to make it a toddler's bedroom. Um, my head was a girl, as you can probably guess by the pink. Um, I was originally gonna make a bathroom out of that one, just a third slightly larger bathroom, but I don't know. I wanted it to be a five, four to five person house instead of um, three to three to four. So I'm just there adding a little bit of art. There's not there aren't that many things that I was able to fit in the room that toddlers use, so I just decided to put a bunch of decorations in there. Um, and I decided to put a slightly different light than I'd been using in other rooms. I don't know, a little bit more fun, those lanterns. I'm crazy about those, actually. <clears throat> Anyways, I kept the uh, bathroom pretty basic, uh, tub-shower <clears throat> combination instead of stretching out the room and putting one of each. Um, Nice big mirror switches across there, as you can see. I feel really silly describing everything I'm doing since you're just watching me do it, and you could probably figure out everything I'm saying on your own. But, like I said, I'm not entirely sure how to fill this islands. Um, Alright, so here, this room, I had a hard time with the bed sheets. Like, you'll see me changing the colors a bunch of times, and I was... I don't know if you see it, but I, I was... Um, struggling with the beds themselves, like, because that is one of the cheapest and most uncomfortable beds. So, to play with, I, I wouldn't keep it, but I couldn't find any other one that I visually, aesthetically liked. Um, so, for this room, I went more aesthetically pleasing than <clears throat> um, logically working. <laughs> Uh, so I was struggling a little bit with artwork there. I found one that felt that went great for the nerds' bedroom, and I just sort of picked anything for that area. <clears throat> so I'm just adding a couple little artistic details, I guess you can say, putting lights because no one wants to be in the dark 24/7. Yes, yeah, so there you go. I was struggling with beds, trying to find one that worked. Somehow one got stuck in the corner, and I didn't notice it for a little while, but I did get rid of it. Um, <clears throat> So I think that's the bed sheets I end up settling on. I just, I just sort of gave up. Nothing really pleased me, and I didn't end up putting anything on that wall that you see me struggling with. I just, nothing fit the feel of the room. It was whatever I found was either too big, or too loud. If you know that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So I'm just finishing the landing area. I keep it pretty simple. Put a small chess table in there and a bit of artwork and. Uh, that's it, I keep it at that. Um, and right after that we get into the screenshots. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it for this build. Um, <clears throat> I do hope you enjoy it, and like I said, there will be a link to where you can download this house, and I would like to apologize for my horrendous voiceovers. Um, so in a couple of seconds, the screenshots are going to show up, and you'll see what this house looks uh, in its final moments. Um, Little note, I did forget to put a screenshot of the downstairs bathroom. I just noticed it on my first um, <clears throat> watching of this, and I didn't really want to open Sims back up to change it. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's a bathroom. You saw me build it. Anyway, so if 
you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and thank you very much for watching. Bye, guys.